Doing well. We're sitting pretty. Oh my god, we've got a magic sword. Sounds like Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> he does. Looks very pretty indeed. In the second game, um, it, it's a lot. It's even nicer still. It looks exactly the same, but uh, when you when you strike it, it actually creates this nice sort of rainbow effect. It's very nice, but not the case here. All right, pulls the ancient dead. Thank God we're fucking done with that. Let's go to the lake. Um, yeah, I I don't. Uh, the fact I enchanted my enchanted sword was a bit of waste of money. Now I really don't need it. This is like the enchanted sword, but you don't have to charge it up. So what you're about to see here is the same power as an enchanted sword, which I'm pretty I'm pretty sure the enchanted sword and the magic sword uh, do the same damage. But yeah, difference is we don't have to charge this one. Looks like a black black light dildo you'd buy at Hot Topic. <laughs> oh my god. Quite possibly. You haven't got your army now. Better to use stealth and charge in. Beware the watchers. If they spot you, they will soon summon others. Yeah, not much we can do about that, actually. We'll be running into watches all the time. Okay, so now we have to deal with really bizarre creatures in this level. He's got these weird... Yep, kill in one hit. Wonderful. That's the magic sword. Blah! So we have to deal with these weird things. Uh, like, I don't know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but they're just so wrong. Okay, and those ones spit at you. I'm not too worried about them, to be honest. Um... I might actually utilize, for the first time ever, my longbow. Okay. And that does quite well. Oh, you just gotta get it right. Eh. They can't hit me from here, so that works. Eh. Oh god, my aim is terrible, though. Eh? Come on. <laughs> Pro tip, I've never seen such a thing in Hot Topic. I believe you. Alright, throwing daggers then. Okay, I will charge my knives up. There we go, that works. And ch and knives are very cheap. So, really, this the, the knives are just better than a lot of other throwing- uh, a lot of other ranged weapons. For the most part. Okay. Am I getting souls for this? No, I'm not even getting souls for this, so fuck that. Magic sword. I can just walk through this. The, their projectiles are terrible. Okay. Oh, no thanks, Watcher. So there's little eyeballs on the wall. But summon bastards. Um, I think I want them to summon enemies though, so maybe I won't do that again. Because these things, I think, yeah, these these have souls. Somehow. So say hello to the crocodile bastards. Um, yeah, I don't get it either. Okay, and they cannot be killed by nudging them in the water. They will just come back, eventually. Yep, yeah, but they can block, which is annoying. Oh. Uh. But last time I was in one roughly three years ago, and oh my god, the terrible sights. Uh, oh. And there we go. Yeah, they're kind of useless. They don't even have homing attacks, really. They just kind of randomly puff into the water. Oh, and I see, I see the crocodile hanging on the wall. Come on, spot me. There we go. I saw you. You were underwater. You may have missed it, but I saw it just hanging on the, on the rock there. Bleh. Okay, 14% already. There aren't many enemies in this area, actually, so, yeah. Oh, no. I think we want to summon these things. I, w I don't want to have to come back. Ow! Those are water eyes. They're horrible. Okay, I will grab this. Why not? Okay. Uh, hello. Wasn't that bad. Everything was relatively expensive, the ancient though. ancient people of this long-vanished town once sought to harness the power of crystals found in the caverns below. Yeah. Now, Zarek seeks to unlock the secrets of this arcane science. Mm. This mine shaft leads deep into the earth to certain doom in the crystal caverns. <laughs> Always avoid twilight. Never go to the twilight section. Never. Alright, we need a star rune to complete this level. You know what I haven't done? I haven't shown off the drumstick yet. Um, I wonder if it works on these things. Probably not. And besides, I want to get their souls. I don't know if you get souls by using the drumstick, but oh my god, talk about the ultimate weapon. Talk about the ultimate weapon. Yeah, and you can always get more by replaying that level. Ow. Whoa. Come back. I'm gonna use a charge attack on you. <laughs> That's how you do that. 
Uh, we got 25% souls. Um, yeah, I mean, I fucked up by killing that eye. That one eye, but I should be able to get away with that, I hope. I hope. Jesus. Alright, well, back out we go. Oh, money. You can't hide from me, Cash. Damn you, Clyde Cash. Just leave Chris Chan alone. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna carry on as I was. Because I do have my Earth Rune now. And, yeah, no, this is a fairly sizable level, I guess. Might have enough opportunities to get the chalice. Oh. Oh, and, and Will will be right back. So, hang in there. Oh, God. Hey, more of them. This is kind of tricky because, yeah, they're on... They're on the bridge, and if they fall off the bridge... Oh, God! Okay, I wasn't expecting that to happen. Oh, my God. Well, thanks for that one there. Jumpy McDickface fish. Alright, well, there's a wasted life bottle, but that's okay. That's right, respawn, you bastard. I'm ready for you. Ow! Oh god, first time they've ever hit me with one of those. Oh, and again. Come on. Respawn. Okay, I have no idea where he's gone, but I can kill this guy at least. Stealth. Kill! Now, I can't get through here as it happens. Um... That was a gate into the previous area, I think. Oh, hello. No, I won't stand for that. Come on. There he is. Come back again so I can murder you. There we go. Shame you don't get a soul from them. Uh, so, can't really say anything bad about the place in my opinion. Yeah. Sometimes you luck out. Oh, oh god. I mean, you know, avoid the twilight dildos and then you're fine. Okay. Boom. I'm gonna carry on through here now. I don't know- Oh, this is the giant machine area. Oh god, you're gonna love this place. See, I knocked him in the water. I hope he comes back. Yes. Off you go. I'm a little damaged. And I lost a life, of course. Yep, you just keep springing back, asshole. I'm ready for you. There we go. Uh, only 42%. I can't think of any more enemies, either. So I could be in trouble. So, yeah, uh, there's a fucking tornado in the ground. Um, actually, it's not in the ground, it's over here somewhere. Oh, 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 I can heal here, and also another time rune required. Oh god, that did not hit him at all. Alright, uh, 47% on the... Huh, that's unusual. I, I can't think of any more enemies, really. Well, not many more. Oh, well, let's heal up. See, we wouldn't have taken that much damage, really, if, we had, if I hadn't died there. Alright. Um, I'm not gonna get much healing out of this fountain. Not much more now. Um, alright, let's carefully make our way around. Oh god. I'm glad we're getting through the some of the harder parts in the game. Yes, spot me! I'm here! <laughs> Only one? Send more against me! Bye. <laughs> Oh my god, they probably said- they probably exist. I never said anything about Twilight Dildos. That's true, but they must exist, surely. Surely. Surely they put Robin Patterson's face on a dildo. It has to have happened. Alright, um, I have got- oh, finally, I get to use my rune here. I am lopping the shit out of this game. There we go. Although it's kind of like real life, so yeah, I'm not really LARPing. This is serious shit. Okay, I'm gonna put the rune in, and that activates a machine. And that does stuff. But uh, we're not quite done here yet, though, obviously. Yep, come back here, assholes. I'm ready for you. Okay, one down. Come on. Where have you gone? Come back here. I got 66% of my chalice. I'm not done with you yet. Oh god. Serious as fuck, I will look it up. Oh my god. Sure, why not? I mean, there's the Twilight Stocking, which is like 60 bucks, I think. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's $100 or close to it. You do, you do not want to know the kind of things I've seen. His head's turning. What are you looking at? Well, bastard wouldn't respawn. I can't be held responsible. Okay, 66%, so they'll- hopefully I'll run into more enemies. Oh, 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 there's a rune. 
It is. It is the time rune. Oh my god. The crystal contraptions that surround the whirlpool can freeze this dangerously turbulent waters. You will need all of the rune keys to activate the magical machines. Now I've got the chaos rune from the sunken boat. And I put in the earth rune. So yes, we're doing well. We've just got to put in the time rune and the chaos rune. And all will be well. Okay. But I'm not jumping in there anytime soon. Okay. And boop. Yes, also summon more bastards. Alright, using the power of crystals, uh, things are happening. I, I honestly, they don't really explain it too well. Just, you know, because crystals. Ah. Oh god, he fell in the whirlpool, but he's still alive. No, come back. Come back, there you are. You damn lizard bastard. Okay, um... Last room goes in here. Oh, hello! I'm happy to see someone respawn. Come back. Okay, there he is. See, they, they can sometimes respawn quite a way away. Uh, oh, there you are. Okay, 80%. Which means, hopefully, we can get a chalice today. I hope. Okay, no more help from that fountain. Screaming in the distance. Yes, I thought I heard something. I thought I heard something. Oh my god, I knew they existed. I just knew it. I knew they had to exist. I'm so fucking terrified. Alright, and there's the last rune. And what doth my eyes tell me? Ooh, fucking turbulent waters have stopped. Whoa. It fucking exists. I knew it. I knew it had to happen. I knew it had to be a thing. Oh god. I'm so terrified now. Honestly, I just- I can't- I can't. Alright, well in we go. This is probably a bad idea, but hey, look at that. We're inside water. It sounds all watery in here. I can slash the water. Oh man. So cool. Not the only thing down here. A lot of seaweed. All that stuff, but we also found elephants. They're all water elephants. Yeah, I don't get it either. Oh my god. Swimming, swimming sea elephants. I don't understand. And you, you got this weird sort of. I don't know what this is. This is strange. But hey, I'm sure there is a dildo of everything. <laughs> Truer words never spoken. Rule 34 needs to be amended so it's not just uh, if um, if if it exists, there's porn of it. That that it should also be if it exists that uh, sex toys are made of it as well. Okay. Oh, please spot me. Hello, the chalice is in there, and I could use it. Oh yes, thank you. Summon more bastards. Okay, oh, I can't see anything, but that's okay. Okay, I need I need to be spotted a bit more. God, I wish they wouldn't block so many times. Okay, uh, 90%. Um, oh, sorry to say, I think we've encountered all the enemies in this area. So I don't know. Well, I, I will try. I will hunt some more bastards down. Come on, someone spot me, please. Yeah, we might not be done just yet. Might be able to. Oh, see, here's the area we were at before. There's the, there's the the. Uh, oh god, uh, Jew gargoyle. And I gotta be spotted. Spot me. Ow! Come on, somebody spot me. Oh well, I'm gonna flip this. And what does that do? It opens a gate, so it allows you to backtrack more easily. Okay, um, so far so good. Um, I just hope I can encounter- yes, there's an eye. Hopefully I can encounter a few more enemies. Jew Gargoyle, uh, who coined that phrase? It was, uh, it was our new viewer. Um, I can't remember his name, unfortunately. Uh, it was Noob Killer Roof, who, uh, coined the phrase Jew Gargoyle. Or maybe it was me in response to what he was saying about the gargoyles. I can't remember now. Yes, summon more bastards for me to kill. There we go. Oh, I think we've got just enough. They're two gargoyles because they sell you things. And they're they're less reputable than the other gargoyles, I guess. Oh my god, this went to dark places. Oh, there's my star wound. So thank god, there's also a bunch of eyes. Oh god, I needed to use a life bottle. That's not so good, because I can't think of any more healing items. Okie dokie, so there's that. 
Oh god, they're gonna summon more. Yeah. Oh god, I'm gonna take some damage, but that's okay. I'm thinking of revisiting the graveyard anyway. Uh, where is it? Oh good. Oh yeah, and uh, skeleton of a thing. I have no idea what the fuck this is supposed to be. Giant fish crocodile thingy? I don't know. I'm not going anywhere near it. Uh, oh, but um, let's get our cells. Oh, wait, where is the... Is it back here? Where's the chalice? Um, I think... Yeah, it's here. Never mind. We got it. We've got this. One chalice. The Hall of Heroes awaits us. And so far, we've been doing really well with the chalices. Um, yeah, I think I remember where they all are from here on out. Even if I don't, it's, it's usually easy enough to look around and see things. I think the only time I got lost so far is, um, yeah, in the pumpkin. Pumpkin fields. Oh my god, how am I supposed to get through this? Um, can I maybe dash jump? Can I sort of maybe do this? Oh, I can. Fantastic. There's an Obama one? The fuck is wrong with people? I don't think I have to go that way for anything, so I'm gonna head back here. Uh, hopefully this is the way forward. No, this is where we started. Jesus. Um, uh, well, obviously I've already been that way, so... That leads back to the... To the water. To the strange, turbulent waters, which are now still. I'm sure there is one of the Pope. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. There must be a Jesus one too, surely. Oh my god. But hey, we've done things, thank god. And I'm gonna take a trip back to the graveyard. But hey, we're done here. Do do do. Off to the crystal caverns we go. Where things will happen. But first, the Hall of Heroes. To get a new weapon, but mind you, my magic sword. Loving the absolute hell out of it. I am loving it. Da 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 da. I'm loving that magic sword. Alright. Um, yeah, we're done with the bottom floor as it happens. Oh my god, I don't think I want to see that, Link. <laughs> I'm too afraid. I'm too afraid. But you know what, why the fuck not? Oh, and I get my magic bow at long last. Hello, Danielle. I've got something here I can give you, but All I've right. no idea what it is. I'll bite. Do you fancy a little gamble, like? Sure, why not? Oh my god. Oh my god. You love your candidate, let him love you back. Oh my god. Oh my giddy aunt. Oh my god. I want the big O. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, no. <laughs> no and thank you. I will not be buying that. Um, oh my god. Uh, oh no, the links are coming out. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta keep this as PG-13 as I possibly can. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh my god, he comes in a Bible? Oh my god, so there's that. Oh, Jesus. And it comes with a free butt plug, so, uh, yeah, yeah. J Jesus. <laughs> oh god. Oh, do not nope the Pope. Just don't do it. Oh my god. Just don't fucking do it. Uh, oh well. Oh my god! Oh I know. my! That's what I wanted to. <laughs> oh my! But you know what, the other one works just as well, too. Oh my god! Oh my god, indeed. I will accept this new gift. He doesn't know what it is. I don't know what I am anymore. I'm just so confused and frightened. But we got the magic longbow. Uh, what it lacks in ammunition, uh, it makes up for in sheer power. I mean, all the other um, crossbow and long, all the other bow weapons, they have a lot of ammunition. But let me tell you, let me tell you. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just save a state. You can fire a regular attack, or you can also use the square button to launch one of these. Boom! Shockwave, motherfucker. So yeah, that ammunition is quite expensive, so no. So that's what that does, and I'm gonna go back to the graveyard to both heal up and also use the chicken drumstick. Because we have to see how that works. It's lovely. It's a lovely weapon. It's a gag weapon, but it's fun. So is my prediction correct? It was. Unfortunately, it was. Oh, oh god, was it ever. Okay, I will save my progress. And where are we going? So glad we're done with the pools of the dead. It's all easy street from here for the most part. There's also a surprise appearance by a special someone in one of these levels. In the form of voice acting. Oh my god. You're gonna love the shit out of this. Let me just let me just ask you a question. 
Has anyone here- is anyone here familiar with the Where's Wally cartoon series? Because if the answer is yes, you will love the shit out of the pirate ship level. You will love the shit out of that. Oh my god. Oh, and also some spare money, why not? Okay, so I'm just gonna dash through this level, quite literally. And, of course, I got a magic sword now, so that's what happens to zombies now. I don't even have to charge this, really. I just have to go... This will kill them in one hit. Just anything. Because these are basic zombies. They're weak. I know who Wally is, but I never watched it. Well, that's unfortunate. If you've got the opportunity, do check it out on YouTube. At least a clip. Um... Actually, yeah, I'm not being specific enough, so yeah. Oh well, you'll wait, you'll wait and see. Didn't know there was a series. There was. There was a series of Where's Wally? Or Waldo, I suppose. Which is strange though, because the Canadian version- uh, there was the- oh god, where's the rune? I haven't picked it up yet, eh. Uh. Um, the strangest thing is, it's- it's Waldo in America. And it's Wally here. And the cartoon show was Where's Wally. I think it was an American cartoon, or it could have been Canadian. Maybe it's Wally in Canada as well, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's Waldo in Canada, so I have no idea what's going on. I think because Martin Hanford is... is from England, and he, he for some reason he changed the name for Americans, and when he made the show he's like, ah, fuck it, I'll just make it Wally for the cartoons as well. I totes meant Walto. Well, actually, I meant Wally because, you know... So, you know, Martin Hanford, he, he loves his- he loves his Wally. Not too keen on Waldo anymore, I guess. Alright, just carve my way through the undead. Uh, oh, come on now. There we go. Um... Yep, Waldo in Canada as well. Oh, the cartoon was Waldo for you as well, so... So that- that confuses me even more. Why did- it, It's not like Wally was English. In the cartoon. He was American in the cartoon as well. So he was, where's Wally? And oh, they went to the effort of just changing his name? Uh, I, oh god, that's just so weird. I suppose it makes sense. You don't want to hire a new cast for something that's operationally the same thing. But I guess, you know, just very strange. But in any case, if you've seen Where's Waldo, um, hopefully if they use the same voice cast, um, you may recognize one of the voices. Um, he only appears in that one role, too. I guess they just had him and said, Oh my god, we love you from Where's Wally, so... We'll, we'll find a place for you in our game somewhere. Um, because, yeah, this was an English-developed game as well. That's why I got the, the same guy. Oh my god, destroying the competition. Oh, and I'm supposed to be using the drumstick. Jesus. Uh... Oh yeah, and I remember the SNES version of the game. Also had the, where's Waldo? Yeah, I remember that now. I remember that now. Where's Waldo 90's intro? That was the same intro, yeah. Yeah, he just says, where's Waldo, is it? Yeah? But they'll say, Where's Waldo? There you go. See, it was exactly the same thing. Alright, interesting. Um, so I guess they just changed every line that was Waldo into Wally for- Well, uh, f from Wally to Waldo in America. Well, that's just weird. That's just weird. Oh, do they think Americans don't like the name Waldo? Oh, right, chicken nugget, chicken nugget. Um, chicken drumstick, I should say. There we go. So I'm gonna save my game because, uh, you can't buy these back once you've used them. But this is what the chicken drumstick does. That theme is great, though. This is what the chicken drumstick does. Hey! Oh god, I missed. Ding! And you can actually heal yourself with the roast chicken. Haha! -ha! Behold the mad, the magical power of chicken drumstick. I uh, know, it's very strange. But uh, we did a thing. There you go. I don't want to waste my chicken drumsticks, though. Alright, so that's how, that's how chicken drumsticks work. The uh, magic witch chicken. And they turn zombies into edible, edible roast chicken. It's it's very strange. But hey, it's a it's a pretty cool weapon to fall back on if you run into any trouble. Uh, we won't really be using it though, unfortunately. Okay, I'm now fully healed, so I'm going to dodge the rest of these zombies because they're not worth my time. All right, and that's the end of that. So I've demonstrated how that works. 
And now you- we can all agree, best weapon ever goes to the chicken drumstick. Oops, no, I'm gonna go this way. 